Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I'm going to teach you about arrow member selection operator. So in the last video, I have shown you how you can create a class in other files other than your main.cpp. So we have created a class using this source file or .cpp file and header file. So if you haven't seen that video, just watch it so you know how you can create your file in the separate file or how you can create a class in a separate file other than your main.cpp. So I'm going to use uh, this class example which I have shown in the last video and I will uh, demonstrate how this arrow member selection operator works. So in this header uh, book.header or book.h uh, file which I have made in the last video I have defined the class prototype and I have uh, declared a book class and in this we have public members which is public, public member variable book id and we have created getter and setter of this book id variable so getter method and setter method of this book id right so our header file contains the prototype of a class and member functions and our source file will contain the source code of these prototype which are here and how it knows how your cpp file knows by including this header file in your cpp file it knows there is a class which ex exists in book.header and I have uh, written the source for this uh, setter and getter method in this .cpu file which is just uh, setting the value and getting the value which you know um, by now already I have already explained how to uh, define setter and getter method in C++ in the earlier videos so this is uh, this class is doing it has one member variable and one setter function and one getter function for this member variable right and the definition or the source for these uh, member functions for setter book id and get book id is here and this i have explained you in the last video and I have, all, I have already uh, also explained you in the last video how you can create an object of the class, for example, book class, and how you can call this member me method or member functions from the class using this, this object. Okay, so we have called set book ID and get book ID from the book class. Now you can also say that this book class is your user defined data type so we have seen we can create string for example string some value and this we call it as a data type and this we call it as a value right so we can also say that this book is our book data type right which we have created so it's a user defined data type and this is a variable in other words right and we can use the concept of pointer which i have uh, explained you in the earlier videos and we can use the address of this object to access our member functions from the class so how we can do it we can define a book books uh, pointer for example so i will say uh, first of all this asterisk and then book pointer and what this book pointer does or what is a pointer a pointer is a variable whose value is the address of another variable right if you remember so I want to give the value of this pointer as an address of this book class. So I will write equal to 
and we give address by this and sign and address of book class so we have created a pointer of type book okay and by using this pointer we can access these set and get method like we have uh, seen in the case of book one book one so uh, when we created book one we can uh, use dot separator to access these member variables but whenever you use pointer what you need to do either you can do it like this so you just copy this pointer of type book and give this bracket and paste this pointer inside this and then write dot your whatever number variable you want to call so i call it call set book id and i set it 300 for example okay and i want to print this so once again i will just copy this the whole pointer dot the get book id or the member variable so i either you can uh, use this kind of definition to call member variables and i compile this program and i will run this program so let's run it and it says 100 and 300 so it's for working fine our pointer of book type is working fine but there is a better way of doing this which we are doing it it looks a little bit weird or ugly uh, when we see it so what we can do instead of uh, doing the pointer in the brackets dot uh, the member function instead of this i can just copy my pointer which is book pointer and i will give arrow like this and this arrow or this arrow is called the arrow member selection operator and the function of this is same as this dot separator but whenever you use arrow your c++ program knows that this is a pointer so whenever you use pointer you separate it or you can access your member variable by using these arrow access or arrow member selection operator right and i can do the same here so i will call this uh, select or set book id here and this time i will set book id 1000 for example and i will call this c out here and i can once again use this arrow separator or arrow member selection operator to call my get function also or get book id also and this looks much better you need don't need to write this all even though this is also valid in this case but this looks much better and by seeing this arrow separator you can say that this variable or this object is our pointer to pointer of this type or whatever type you define and this will work same as this code so let's try to compile the program and run the program and you see here we can see thousand this time so you can define the pointer of a class and using this pointer of a class you can access the member variable of a class either like this or using this arrow member selection operator okay so i hope you have learned uh, this arrow member selection operator very uh, in a very good way and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.